Hi, my name is Michael, but you can call me Sylvester Productions. I've been making YouTube videos a few times a week for the past 17 months, and in that time I've really improved my audio. I'm really proud of these accomplishments, because half of these were DIY, and the other half I can't figure out on my own behalf. Firstly, this audio right now is coming from my camera mic, and it has a sponge on it which kind of dampens the echo and makes it sound clearer as well. Now, this sound is coming from my phone mic. And as you can see, I've been recording this whole conversation on my phone and using that microphone because it's a really good microphone even though it's on my phone and really small. And just so you know, I'm not using any fancy phone mic recording equipment, it's just my default voice recorder. When I record on my computer, I use my Turtle Beach PX22 headset with the in built microphone which is a really nice microphone it has this nice foamy thing and I use the software OBS if you didn't know this software is a free screen recording software that is I think one of the most popular I just picked these settings I changed them a bit and I'm using scene to at the minute and straight out of the software the audio quality has a nice compressed tone which I absolutely love but now I'm going to show you the ways that I edit these two different audio files. So editing the audio from my phone, I use a program called Audacity. And Audacity is a free program available online. It's a really quick download, you can get it on Mac, Windows, Linux and any other operating systems. So let's open it up and import my audio into it. So I listen to my audio, find a selection with a bit of noise, and it's normally just a tiny bit of rain tone. Click Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, Control A, which is Control All, Effect, Noise Reduction, OK. And I leave the sounds on default, because they're pretty damn good. You won't be able to hear this, but there's no noise at all. The next step in editing the audio, I clicked Effect, Compressor, these are my settings and I found these to work the best. They're very similar to the default ones. I click OK. I normally listen through that once and if I like it I leave it at that but sometimes I want to change it up a bit more. So I click Effect and I go into Equalization and I start with Bass Boost. This is found right here. I leave it on default. Click OK. Let that run. Effect. Equalization. Treble Boost. Leave down defaults, click OK, and that kind of umps your compression, making your highs and lows stand out a bit more. But sometimes it's too much and you want to bring it down, you can add another compressor. But personally, I'm just going to undo these last few edits and leave it in the initial compressor. Because I really like that sound and it's very natural with my phone mic. Now we just export the audio, you can pick your settings, pick your folder. Name it whatever you want. I use this format, 16 bit. Save it, click OK. That's your Audacity experience done. But now let's go into the OBS screen recording audio editing. You gotta click go into Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna use this existing sequence. Go into your screen recordings, import that wherever. It's right here. I'm going to put that onto the timeline. You can re leave it as this because it's really nicely compressed. But you can go a step further and either go to the effects window and type in multi band compressor. And you can apply this directly onto your audio and change the sounds this. But I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to go into the audio track mixer. And if you don't have this window open, you can go here audio track mixer have that opened this one looks like automatically you want to open this click the first little slot and go into your amplitude and compression go multiband compressor now that's applied onto the whole track so it's every single clip on track one will have a multiband compressor now this is very useful for if you have different cuts and you have different screen recordings from different days and you just want to have nice clear audio throughout you want to go away from broadcast to whatever else 
to whatever other setting you want, it doesn't really matter. Now go back into broadcast. When it loads, you don't really need to change a lot of these settings I found. You just go minus three for the margin and that is it. Your audio will sound superb. And one other thing, if your screen recording mic has a bit of hiss or noise, you can always use the noise reduction filter in Audacity to remove that because that filter is probably the best noise reduction effect available right now. Anyways, this has been my short tutorial on how to get a really nice sound when you're doing indoor YouTube videos or any other kind of videos. Thank you for watching my video, hope you picked up some new. If you did, maybe leave a like and even consider subscribing. Till next time.